I'm working with a community of refugees in Indonesia, in West Java, who were on their way to Australia but who have now become stuck and they're facing a wait of anywhere from three, four, five years, even up to ten or more years before they will get resettled and be able to make a home somewhere. So I'm really interested in looking at how do people cope with that? How do they respond to their new environment and to their interrupted journey? How do they find housing, income? How do they manage cultural life, family life? An unexpected benefit, I think, out of this is through watching how youth and women are finding greater power within their communities in this um, state. There are some really important learnings there for feminist theory and thinking through um, empowerment of women and that often that has focused very much on the relationship between an individual woman and the state, so the public and private spheres. This is breaking down that dichotomy, breaking down that binary and I'm hopeful will produce some new insights and some new ways of thinking through um, some feminist conundrums and, and problems. This research will contribute to knowledge. I'm a sociologist, we try to understand society and the world. Forced migration is a major global issue. So by studying this community, we as sociologists will learn something very important about how societies and communities adapt to a big global phenomenon.